I recently made a video for Veritasium's Science Communication Contest, and my topic was all about water jets and why their outlet should be above the water line versus below. And a lot of people had a lot of different views and suggested I make a test to prove it. So here it is with a cooler and a garden hose. So this was a very simple setup. I took my digital fish scale out of my tackle box, tied it to a string, and pulled that hose forward to that little white string on the black 550 cord. And I measured nine ounces of resistance or thrust coming out of that hose. Then I picked up the cooler, dumped out the water so that the hose would be ejecting water above the water line, and I repeated the experiment. zeroed out my fish scale, did the same thing. I pulled that hose forward all the way to the white string on that black 550 cord, the exact same spot. And this time I had 12 ounces of resistance, so a 33% increase. If you were building a jet boat, wouldn't you want 33% more power? Of course you would, and that's why I built my jet canoe and jet john boat like this. Here's the thumbnail from my jet canoe video and the thumbnail for the contest entry I had for Veritasium's channel and a how-to video on how I actually built my dual engine or dual water pump powered John boat. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it interesting. I know I learned something while I was doing the experiment and keep on coming back to Green Lizard USA and don't forget to subscribe.